It's extremely important to, to support any institutions that are given the time to ensure that our youth have the tools that they need to explore the future. A lot of our children are behind because we're not shaping them to be uh, innovators. We're not shaping them to be leaders of tomorrow. We're shaping them to be complacent. The Science Center, the YES program, teaches them how to be innovative. It teaches them how to be ahead of the wave and not only be ahead of it, create their own wave. We have to start being the wave of the future. This city must be the wave and let everybody else ride that with us into a new future. So the Youth Exploring Science, or YES program, it's a multi-year program where we work with teens starting at the age of 14 throughout their entire high school career. We expose teens to different STEM-related fields, STEM industries, but we don't just talk about it. We actually put these teens in those actual, actual real-world environments. There are more jobs than there are graduates for um, things within the area of science, technology, engineering, and math. Opportunities uh, are available, but they're not necessarily people who are, who are skilled uh, or have the education to fill those opportunities. So I think oftentimes, sometimes that comes from students not really knowing that they may have an interest in certain areas, or they might have you know, an inkling that they're good at math or science, but not really uh, have an understanding about you know, what does a mechanical engineer do? That sometimes it's hard for young people to envision what that might look like for them as far as an education or a career. And I think programs like this offer a glimpse um, into what that looks like uh, for young people to kind of help them understand, okay, this is what it might be like if I was doing this as a career um, in order to engage them in those kinds of professions at, at an early age. The YES program is really one of, the way I look at it within the Science Center, it's really one of our crown jewels. It's a program that we've developed many, many years ago, actually almost two decades ago now, that uh, is really focused on basically the educational path of the high school student, uh, and particularly those in the underserved uh, parts of our community. And it gives them an opportunity to, to have exposure to STEM careers and uh, that they may or may not have otherwise. So our teams are able to study seven uh, components. We have cybersecurity, integrative medicine and well-being, aerospace, agri-science, entrepreneurship, engineering, and media production. It's really important that the teens are seeing these careers as real world because it's something that really exposes them to what's out there. There's an old saying that, you know, the youth are the future, right? <laughs> but with exposure, it's not necessarily, all right, I'm exposing you to this, and you have to choose that. But exposure leads to a group of options that I can take. Being at the YES program and seeing, like, black engineers and like just meeting that and, and being surrounded by um, the support system that I had then, it exposed me to a completely different lifestyle that I don't think academically would have invested that energy into me to see it. I, I've never had anyone pour into me and tell me that I, that I could be something until I got to that program. I'm really passionate about the YES program because we take kids from all walks of life and help them to pursue these fields that typically you don't see people like me. And my other line of work, I am the only person of color doing this job in a department of 19 people. It's just me. And I want our kids to wake up in a world one day where they don't have to say that. And I think the YES program really does a good job of taking kids from a large diverse background and giving them the skill set and the experience to be able to pursue these fields. In some of these programs, you, you have a student um, or a young person who uh, without the right shepherding or mentoring, um, wouldn't be able to find or have access to certain opportunities. I think that many programs and educators um, and community leaders uh, can provide. Well, first let's talk about what's happening in our community. The wonderful initiative around the STL 2030 Jobs Plan. And each one of us uh, collectively and individually as organizations and individuals have to have ownership, passion, and commitment around that to make it successful. For the Science Center itself, uh, as a part of that journey, we have this really wonderful opportunity. 
the, the 2030 jobs plan also has a very important part around inclusive growth, equitable opportunities for those in our community. And the YES program has that really special niche in it as well because it is so focused on our, uh, some of our underserved and un, uh, portions of our community and the teens that are part of that community. Now, there are so many important parts and pieces to that jobs plan. But one of them is one of their five actionable strategies around becoming a talent engine. And within that subset, there is a very, very important part about bringing life to our STEM community and recruiting and creating opportunities for students to get involved in STEM-related careers. We need that in St. Louis for us to, to compete regionally, globally. Uh, it's the future of not only our community, but the world in many ways. The world is changing so fast, and STEM or STEAM careers are at the center of all of this. Everything we do is science, technology, engineering, and math. And just the whole point of setting up a generation that, you know, just sort of embraces that. And not as a, you know, something that's, you know, unobtainable, but something that is just natural. Something that, you know, they are comfortable with. Because anytime you're comfortable with something, you know, you want to take it to the next level. One of the things that the YES program shows is that once you go through the program, you want to give back. It just makes you want to give back. And so keeping a, an environment of kids that are so comfortable in these spaces and that are so comfortable with taking the world to the next level of STEM learning, you know, it, it is so important. And, and what it does is it, it, it allows them to just be natural with STEM, but to also, I'm gonna say it again, to want to grow the world, to want to get in these industries and, and, and show that I'm good, I can take the reins, I can take over, and, and I can take it to the next level. And guess what, I can show you, even at 14 years old, in four years, I can show you my growth. And so if this program can give you that growth, you know, in those four years that they transition out, man, what can they do for the real STEM industry, you know, once they get out here in the real world. So just have faith, you know, in these youth. And be sure to create, you know, a space for them to, to learn, create a space for them to grow because it's going to benefit us in the future, I promise.